everybody ought to have a little Army training. It was a, it was a good experience and came out of it in good shape, so I was, I was real happy to be, to be part of it. It was an honor to serve, yes. They were teenagers back then and in their 90s now, but September 2nd, 1945 is a day that all of these World War II veterans could tell you exactly where they were, what they were doing, and what it felt like to hear that the war was over. This is where I landed when I was coming home. Right there on those steps is where I met my family. John Mooney vividly remembers arriving at Bowman Field after his time in the Navy, a moment 75 years ago that feels like yesterday to the 94-year-old. I had a seven-year-old brother, and they were parked out here, and he ran up and hit me and almost knocked me down. <laughs> Mooney spent a year aboard the USS Walker, a destroyer stationed in the Pacific. It was a great adventure for an 18-year-old. I wouldn't want to do it again, but given the same circumstances, I would. Mooney was one of four veterans brought together by Honor Flight Bluegrass, an organization dedicated to honoring their service. Of the 16 million men and women who served during World War II, there's only 300,000. They're disappearing at a rapid rate, and they need to be recognized while there's time to do so. The highlight of the day for 93-year-old Vincent Ramarosa was a ride in an authentic World War II Jeep. It was the Army veteran's first time riding it once since the war. How was it? Beautiful. Took me back a few years. 75 years later, he looks back on serving his country with pride. Being in the service, I knew what I had to do. I knew I was fighting for America. I know this is the best country in the world. But I did lose a lot of friends. Natalie Grice, WLKY News. Since 2008, Honor Flight Bluegrass has flown more than 2,000 veterans to Washington to see the memorials in person. Because of the pandemic, they had to cancel two trips scheduled this year. The remaining trip this year is scheduled for September 29th.